Hello everyone, this is Tony Tanzi, Infrastructure Practice Leader with Com Solutions Company. In this Palo Alto Tech Tip video, we're going to look at the configuration for NetFlow export. So NetFlow is another mechanism we can use for emitting flow data to a next NetFlow collector and being able to get some detailed information around flows traversing through the firewall. So we may be doing this currently for routers and switches and if we do have a NetFlow collector in our network, we can very quickly and very easily start emitting that type of NetFlow data from our Palo Alto Networks firewall. So let's take a look at this configuration. The first thing we need to do is to create a NetFlow server profile. So under the device tab and NetFlow is where we go to create that server profile. We do an add here. We give a name to our NetFlow server profile. We then go in and configure and add a server. So this name could be anything meaningful that we want. The server can be either the IP address or an FQDN if we're using DNS. And the port that we're emitting NetFlow data on, default being 2055. One of the other options that we have here is also the ability to turn on PanOS field types. What this provides us is as part of the emission of NetFlow data, it will include the application ID information as well as the user ID information in that NetFlow data. So this may be some additional information above and beyond what we would normally get from NetFlow data specific to Palo Alto. We have some other options here for refreshing of the data. So in our refresh rate, that is actually the number of minutes or the number of packets, one or the other, or both, after which NetFlow template is refreshed. And then we have a timeout that we can configure, which will specify the frequency at which records are exported for each session, and that's in minutes. So first we create our server profile. Once that is done, we have to then apply that to a specific interface where we want to start collecting NetFlow data. So if we were to take our trusted interface here, under our NetFlow profile, we would select that NetFlow profile that we just created. And that will allow us now to start collecting NetFlow and emitting that for traffic flowing through the firewall. Again, this is Tony Tanzi, Infrastructure Practice Leader with Comp Solutions Company. Please visit www.compsolutions.com for more information about Comp Solutions, things like current events coming up, training information, as well as any technology practices that we can assist our customers with. Thanks for your time and attention, and have a great day.